Part of what Toronto Hydro has been doing over the last several years is increasing our um, community involvement programs by getting out uh, into neighbourhoods at neighbourhood events throughout the year and the Junction Arts uh, Festival is a terrific opportunity for us to get out into a part of Toronto that we don't uh, normally get out into and that would be West Toronto. Toronto Hydro is really excited to be able to have been a sponsor for the past several years uh, and now, this year, for the first time, a real participant by exhibiting our own works of art, that being Old Fridge Doors. I think anything like conservation, especially now with the environment, uh, it's like a it's a main political issue. And uh, what better way to to talk about it is through art. The door showed up, and uh, I immediately started researching uh, 60s and 70s uh, art, culture, uh, imagery, and um, went through record covers and posters, and pulled out what influenced me growing up and uh, went with the whole flower power, all we need is love theme and uh, went with it. I think the, the whole conservation thing um, and the art thing go hand in hand, especially with like using the fridges as our canvas, like something that would have ended up in a landfill or something like that anyways, and now it's kind of like has like a timeless feel to it. Um, people can enjoy it for a long time. Part of Toronto Hydro's um, main uh, activity over the last several years has been energy conservation and environmental improvement programs. And so old refrigerators in the home are one of the main um, guzzlers of electricity. And uh, so there's a, a good opportunity there for us to uh, talk to consumers about a real tangible piece of appliance that can be removed and make real difference and real improvements on the grid. Over the past several years, We've retired about 20,000 of these old refrigerators, what we call beer fridges, for example. And it's when somebody buys a new fridge, a more energy efficient fridge, uh, we want to make sure that they don't take the old fridge down into the basement or the garage and plug it in and keep um, beer or pop in it. Uh, that We want to make sure that that old fridge is taken off the grid and retired. J'aimerais ça qu'ils voient vraiment une manière humoristique de parler un peu de, de l'énergie propre et de, de la consommation d'électricité. C'est plus ça un peu le but. T'sais. Je veux vraiment que ça soit drôle. Puis j'aime que mes pièces, normalement, tu aient une réaction. Puis c'est comme, ah ouais, tu sais. Puis ça te rappelle une image comme les pénopes. Fait que c'est plus ça que je voulais que ça fasse. Hein. Une petite réaction drôle, puis euh, de quoi de léger, mais en même temps, qui, euh, est comme avec la plug en dessous, ça passe quand même le, le message subtil que c'est sur l'énergie. <rire> it was really surprising to get, you know, approached by Toronto Hydro and be like, hey, we want you to do an art piece about like renewable energy and like opening people's eyes. And uh, what I ended up doing was going with the theme of Mother Earth. She's like extending her hand out. And um, from her hand is a waterfall that's falling, I guess, into the ocean. I think now, 
more than ever, people are actually like, okay, you know, we're running out of time here and we don't want to like destroy something that's already been given to us. Maybe even, you know, these art pieces, like people will be inspired by it and like some little kid will see your piece of art and they'll be like, you know, maybe they'll be like inventing a new solar panel that everyone can use. Well, I hope they're entertained by them and um, also give it some thought to whether or not they've got old fridges in their homes that uh, Toronto Hydro could recover and get that power off the grid.